Hey guys, this is Hand of Justice, and I'm here with one of my favorite buddies, AceMTG. Um, so excited to be able to do a team draft here. Um, yeah, because number one, I don't know anything about the set. I'm kind of coming back in after a couple weeks off. Super excited to get back in. Ace has got to jump on me, and so I'm really going to be, you know, relying on him heavily to like not drive us into the toilet. But I'm super excited, anyways. It's going to be a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for being here. And if you have not checked out his channel, please check out Ace's channel. Um, he's been on a little bit of a break himself, but just an amazing, amazing player. And thank him so much for being here. So thank you, Ace. Well, thanks for having me. I always love doing content with you. And you might not want to check out my channel only because I don't know how much content I'll be doing anymore. I know a lot of your viewers watch me as well. I'm going to make a community post about it, but... It's just kind of with my everyday life and everything, it's become a bit much. So I don't know if I'm still going to be doing content. I pushed it really hard kind of for a year. I still love the game, still going to be playing, still would love to hop on and do things with you whenever. But as yeah. far as those daily videos, I don't know how much, but hopefully you guys all enjoy this one. I still watch the game. I pay attention to all the cards. So obviously hands just here he hasn't actually even seen the cards so i'm gonna at least help him out with that a little bit and i've done at least two drafts where i thought i drafted these absolute bomb ridiculous decks and they went five and three so it's good right you get your money back when you get your five wins but or sorry five wins but i thought these would just like be easy seven winners and people had some absolutely insane decks so i can't wait to jump into this that's awesome. Yeah. Honestly, if, if I can, you know, twist your arm and affect you in a way to like get you back for a draft every now and then, and then like post it on our channels, I'm super excited about that. So I can't tell you how excited I am to be drafting with you again. So if you would like to become a member and help support my channel, you can do so. Just click on the join button right next to where it says subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Um, or if you would like to just support my channel just on a one-time basis, you can also click the super thanks button uh, here right on the, uh, also right under the banner here for the video. So these are both great ways to support the channel. I really appreciate you guys and I couldn't do this without you. So thank you guys so much again for your consideration. All right, let's get into some games. Yeah, I mean, we both, uh, obviously our content on our channels is pretty much all standard best of one, but we both love limited so much. And for me, yeah. that's how I have a free to play account. That's how I got cards of every single set essentially. So, all right. So here's the big thing. Uh, hover over this. This is an absolutely ridiculous card taking place okay. of Voice of the Blessed that has rotated out. So I'm giving oh a uh, hand of justice chance to read this. So <laughs> when you're drafting Bloomborough, uh, try and find a couple other decent ones. I mean, pretty good three drop for green is oh, nice. yeah. when you are drafting in Bloomborough, there are animal tribes for color pairings. Um, this is a key card if you want to go Simic, which is frogs. Frogs mm. is all about you have a card that gives you some value, bounce okay. it, and then you play it again. So you just keep mm. repeating the cycle. Orzov, so your black and white is bats and life gain. This, I love it. if we have life gain, is an absolute insane card. Absolutely bonkers. Let's let's save this because we're probably taking it because it looks amazing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, tell me more about what's happening in this. So time. the thing is, this is our highest upside card without a doubt. So I'm gonna take yep. it. I always say also in a draft, take a rare, you'll know if you'll get another one. Um, but it's not a standalone, just good card on its own. So the oh, hard thing with yeah. this set is, right? I'm not going to just pair that card with this Paul Patch Recruit. Offspring mm -hmm. is a new mechanic. So okay. on turn three, I could pay three and I get a 2-1 and a 1-1. One, one. This is another bonkers oh. great card aggro. They target one of your cards. You get, you get yeah. to spread out all these counters. Okay. But it. our first pick does not go with this. This has to have <laughs> life gang. Now, we yeah. have a few options, things like this, that could give us life gang. I okay. say, you know, maybe we stay open. This is another really good white card as well. Flying Double Strike Ooh, Vigilance. Yeah, uh, great like, for hey. any buffs or enchantments you could put on it. But yeah. I doubt if I take the pop uh, patch, it's, uh -huh. the two of them are going to go together. Okay. It's, so I'm going to go. I'm, yeah, go yeah, ahead. Let's, let's go with what you're saying here. Pop patch sounds great, but. Well, um, the thing is, do know. we want to stay open? Let's stay open. 
So yeah. I, I would I would still take the Paw Patch. I just don't think they're going to go in the same deck. This is I not guess. a draft <laughs> format where you are just taking good cards and making a deck. You Got are it. building around something, 100%. Okay. So if you want to go with the Bat Life Gang, this is a key card. This is your okay. new veteran, right? Oh, veteran is rotated. Oh. So you have bats in yeah. return, flying, gang life when anything comes. So this okay. is a key card if we're going to go bats. Uh -huh. If we want to go kind of the gruel, that's yeah. a little bit of this raccoon synergy. This is okay. a pretty good card, ramps you up a little bit. But the question is, do we have the big bomb to ramp two? I don't know, but I, it looks cool. So let's take it. <laughs> See, that's hard for me. So for me, I would okay, actually yeah, be going. We'll see, what's I would actually be going with the duo here. Okay. Yeah. Let's this go for, it. for me pairs better one. with the Essence Channeler. So much better than this. I don't okay. find, in my opinion, Red Green is the strongest format for it. So you have animal okay. pairs. Raccoon is Gruel, one of the lower ones. Simic is Frogs, okay. one of the strongest ones. Orzov okay. is bats. So to me, this is just too key of a card. I think we yeah. kind of have to try it. Yeah, let's go for it. So now we're just trying to like push lots of creatures, bats, that kind of thing. Yeah, if we we could. Now, this is a little tricky. If okay. we go down the frogs, so this is kind of the frogs I was talking about if we go Simic. This is mm -hmm. other frogs get ward. You could bounce some of your creatures with this, replay things. This is a key mm -hmm. card in the Simic one. Again, we, okay. we haven't we haven't found a path yet, right? Does Paw Patch Recruit work with Simic? Or not really. So, so that we could do that. That would go with it. It would work. It would be fine. Okay. Um, yeah. The paw patch would still go right now, unless we're going to add in black. Um, right. I think taking the long river lurker is probably the it best bet. Open? The reason yeah, for it is it. one. Once again, staying open early in the draft. We don't know what lane is going to be ours. The secondary oh, no. thing is frogs have so many great cards that are common. It's easy to make a frog deck. Also, Ward is is ridiculously powerful. What is? Ward oh, yeah. one, it's so good. Okay, so now, right, good good card in Simic, good card in green. It's a one mana fight spell. Love um, it. this is also a really good card just to have in general. Be oh, okay. and sorry, that I don't really care about that one that much. It's a fight spell, I think that's probably a good move. Fight spell, yeah. I mean, your other option to me is I, I mean, two drops, very fast format. Oh, it, that looks like it's really good late. I mean, that looks really and also decent early i don't know well i mean what would you t what's your inclination here so if i'm going green white i go there but we'll, we'll take the fight spell because either way oh, it, it would be green white i think you took the white the white creature oh did i oh i'm fine with that too though okay okay so either one's fine so he's really good in uh lots of creatures yes there, there's rabbits in green white where you get a billion creatures okay. this is drying up a little bit for us uh I mean, doesn't do much. Okay. This is this is decent in the frog deck, believe it or not, because you keep bouncing okay. it. So you give your yeah. creature a counter. You bounce it to your hand. You play it again. You give another creature a counter and all that yeah. life gang. Um, this is a decent card in Gruul. You get to exile okay. top card of your library. Take a peek. I would Let's be... kind of put the Druid um, because like that goes in green, white, potentially, or also maybe... I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna have you make this pick. We have, we have two yeah. good options. I feel in this one, great yeah. combat trick here. Hmm. Yeah, and we need more of those. We don't really have much in combat tricks. So though. that's the good combat trick, and this is just a good steady two drop, a three one, aggressive. Okay. If you target it with spells like this, it yeah. becomes a three three. So I'm what like, for yeah. you do you like better? I like more creatures. Just going with the um, like the, the thing that's pumping all of our creatures. Like okay. A, you know. Okay. But if we need a pump spell, I'm open. So yeah, later on, this is a pump spell I love. I love we'll get, one mana we'll get tricks more and limited. For more pump later, so getting the creatures is a bit more important now, but that's just my thought. So this is uh without question, we take. If we end yeah. up going in the Simic route, this is the okay. key card, draws us your card, right? We bounce it, we keep drawing cards, little chump blocker, would, goes in those frog decks. Yeah, would we, would, we, would we ever like uh, splash into like Bant and then go like, you know, maybe splash the Long River Lurker or is it not really? That so, kind in of my stuff? two drafts I've done, I have not splashed yet. And the reason for it okay. is there's not a ton of fixing. 
Green, oh, obviously, is the color to be in if you want any fixing. And then I believe okay. there's like an artifact that helps. There's no dual lands, though. Um, yeah. This... Ooh, stock in the pantry looks great. What does? Oh, I was just saying stock oh. in the pantry. That looks exciting. The only Although, problem is there's uh, not a whole lot of things to put counters on. Oh, we don't we don't have ways to do that. Okay, gotcha. I will, I will, I will, this is what we took. This is a fine spell if we need to bounce things. A um, little trick. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, so this could be any creature type. Yeah, well, that was good, because especially since we don't know what we're going to be, right? Yeah, this has been decent in actually drawing cards late game, especially in a frog deck. But okay, so here is a little mana fixing. Nice. I would say this is, this, if we were going, um, is it? This is great. Is it? It's all about spells and okay. growing your creatures, but I think we're not necessarily there. This is a good yeah. frog, a decent frog card, better than the other one. Um, another shapeshifters. There's only two of them. Do and... we care? I mean, I guess because that could be a rabbit if like that mattered. Oh, this is a ridiculous card. Just not where we're at. An offspring is that the one where they, like it comes in with an extra creature? Is that yes? Yeah, so you pay three and you get two of them. So for oh, us, yeah. Banishing Light, fantastic removal. We're yeah, pretty heavy sure. white right now. Um, yeah. Other options, pretty versatile. I haven't actually played with it yet, but often your well, opponent has the, a flyer or enchantment or something, right? Yeah, I feel like hard removal is what we want here. This is a any. great card if you are in that gruel or if you're in that, I mean, uh, Boros, I often use it in. So this okay. is a pretty good pump. Um, for us, though, I think this is an easy, no yeah. question, Banishing Light. Just trying to go over some of the cards for you. Oh, sure, yeah. Decent flyer, too. So mm -hmm. uh, Blue White, Azorius, is all about birds and flyers. I find it to be probably the weaker archetype. It's fi fairly underpowered. Yeah. Um. Okay. This is the key card if okay. we were... Going with Orzov. <laughs> we have no black cards though. <laughs> but this I mean, is could we go Abzan? Is that possible to like splash it in and just like have stuff happen? Or is that like a bad idea? You know, it, it's a maybe. We don't have a strong green or blue yet. And this That's card true. is so ridiculous if we start going down that path. Okay, the so other if we get like great a... white card is this four damage to attacking or blocking creature. If I have a bat on the field, I gain three life. So this would be my second choice. So if you I want to risk say, it, dip into I think black. Let's, let's risk it because it looks like Convocation is probably like the higher upside card. Yeah. If we just get past like crazy black, then we just go that direction. I mean, in standard right now, there's a really good black deck and it revolves around using this card, using your Essence okay. Channeler. So I mean. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of black cards here. I don't know if they're good, but. I'm, they're you know, not good. So this is a discard thing. Okay. This is draw, lose life. Okay. And right. yeah. So again, we have that bunny. This well, is. Well, now hang on a second. The hunger kills something, right? The what? The nocturnal, nocturnal hunger is like a kill spell, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it, is, it is. Sorry. Yeah. I totally missed that. The other option here is right here. It's a double okay. pump spell. One Whoa, creature okay. gets plus two, plus two. Another gets plus one, plus one. Let's go for the kill spell. Let's keep it simple. Okay, so you are gonna. Okay, so we're gonna try and cut black a little or, bit. Or is that is that crazy? Or and hop know? in. No, I mean, if we want to hop into black, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world to start trying to cut things. This is another kill spell too. So, Ooh. okay, yeah, premium I mean, kill I'm, spell I'm, there. So I, if we're gonna try and get up. in there. Again, another pump spell we're missing out on. But if we're gonna go black, black white, I mean, Orzov, it's the way to go. Yeah. Killing their stuff seems just as good as pumping. For your stuff. other drafts, though, again, like I said, if you're Simic, you're looking for wide field. So this right. makes three bodies. And then you Ooh, use right. things like your... Um, I guess we could take that. I mean, like three bodies seems pretty good. Oh, I'd rather have the kill spell if we want to go Orzhov, okay. though. Th right, this is start. your best black kill spell in the set. Okay, I I'm in. Let's do it. Okay, so once again, we have another kill spell. <laughs> do it Look, can't have enough let's get and then get we have there. our yeah so yeah let's just make it easy like, uh, other options there. right again we want some of these probably in our deck because it's such a great combat trick this really you don't want maybe if you're in a boros mouse deck like if we have enough kill their stuff then like it doesn't really matter if we pump our own stuff and then again 
if this was later and there wasn't a premium kill spell, we might want mana fixing because, like you said, maybe we're going to risk it and try and go three color. Right. I think that since we got like three very good kill spells back to back, let's just commit to like white black. Yeah. Say that and that... then we come up a little empty. So this is <laughs> right. four creature types. Limited okay. really has no place at all. Okay. Um, I mean, a really expensive equipment. Uh -huh. This is technically could be white. Okay. A three, four for four. What uh, is the site? We don't, oh, God. we wouldn't sorry, want to discarding. I'll just take this because there's the literally, or, or maybe yeah. the green in case. Okay. We sure. still go green. Okay. This now for black. Oh doesn't gang us or lose us life. It's just a three drop. But if you're ganging life, it is nice to get the surveil. Yeah. This, though, guarantees we gain some life off of it. Five drop, I, only a three, three, though. So let's, let's take let's take the three drop. I, I like the lower curve. OK, if, if you're because I think like we can probably engineer some life, hap, you know, some life gain to happen. So I think we can probably make use of it. Yeah, right now we only have one way of making life, so. Okay, we got to pick up some more. Got it. Well, it, it's hard to find. Got it. Um, let's go for an artifact thing here. Try to try to make it happen. So this, if um, you want to go three colors, this is your other mana fixer. No, I was thinking of the three tree mascot just because it, it is a changeling. Okay. And that, that'll fit in. Unless right. that's crazy. That could be some mana fixing as well. All right, so we got one of these. This is going to be our top pick. Your other okay. option is just getting the bird. Doesn't fit any of our synergy, though. I mean, does the crumb and get it fit? No, wait, does this give us life, that crumb and get it thing? The, the pump spell, does it, give, does it give us life? Oh, no. There's no pump spell that gives us life. Well, there is oh. one in black, I guess, yes, but... Okay. Um, We're definitely not going to be blue, so I would say we take the frog. <laughs> yeah, just in case we are... We have awesome. some green, so... Okay. And everybody, we are off the chains here. Um... <laughs> we have not found a lane at all. I, I, yes, I agree. But I think that, you know, Orzhov is going to be something. We can maybe make it happen. Who knows? Oh, yeah, we there we go. Get that flyer Perfect. Again. We're Orzhov. We're 100% Orzhov. <laughs> We're making this happen. Okay, so a really good thing that pumps up most creature types, bats, birds, everything. So a great lord. And uh, just yeah. efficient rate, right? Two mana for two, three. Mm -hmm. The best kill spell in the set. Um, how many creatures? Can we check our creatures real quick? You want to cut cut the green and, and cut the blue, and let's see how many creatures we got. Oh, let's see if we got time without for that. without the green and the blue though. Come on, we got thirteen seconds. Um, okay, so yeah, let's 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 pick that Deck. kill spell. Oh, nine creatures? Okay, get the rare. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, that, that'll, that'll pump up our squad, too. It's an early drop. Again, if we had to pivot back into green, too, it goes well. Okay, so mm -hmm. this is a key card. If we were doing the Simic with the green... I forget it. I think we're off that. We're just but gonna go this that. is a key card every time... Yep. It oh, there we go. Every time we attack, we gain life. And that's yeah, what we're yeah. trying to get is some life gain. I'm so in. Let's do it. We also have this one, but you have to attack with it, and it's a ground creature. Smaller. Sounds difficult. So to me, I think this is a little bit better. Yeah. But yeah, that if you ever do go down, though, the um, <laughs> green-white path, this card is ridiculous. There's okay. a, a three-mana drop that does three creatures. You know, it's... Yeah. Oh, he, he gets, he so gets nutty. Yeah. yeah. Let's go with the, the for sure thing, Flyer. All right. So we have a bat. There's some bat okay. synergies. You gain life, it gets bigger, and it's also just a death toucher. So uh -huh. probably what else our, Oh, actually, never mind. Here we go. Okay. Key card. There we go. At the beginning of your end step, if you gained your lost life this turn, target opponent loses three life unless they sacrifice a non-land permanent. Yeah, we want that over the kill spell, right? Yeah. I think this is just a nice big five drop body. We don't have anything big, and so I think that just goes too well. All right. We're finally, oh, uh, okay. set. Do, no doesn't fit our synergy. It doesn't life gain or anything like that. It is a death toucher that we could okay. bring things back. Okay. Probably I mean, bringing things back is really good. I mean, we have a kill spell that could make a food. Yeah, let's get the kill spell because it gains life. 
Yeah, because then we wouldn't want this. I mean, so this is a good creature, but I think we have to try and gain some life. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then cut the green creature from our deck, oh, if yeah. you don't mind. Um, if we were going going wide strategy, we would go here. I don't think so. uh, we don't really have the creatures to do it. We yet. have let's another go kill spell. Yeah, let's go kill spell. Okay. The other option again, if we had to, we would take this just for more bodies. But I mean, we could do that later. Like, how are we? I don't think a bunch of bodies helps us in our deck anyway that much. Not really. Yeah, let's go for the kill spell. So I love this card. Give something flying. And you get to draw a card. What's our creature count? 11? Let's try to up that a little bit first, I think. Do we uh, have any other? Not a great four drop, but that's our only other option. I mean, it has offspring. I kind of like that. Oh, sorry. I took the other thing. <laughs> All oh, right. So, did. Death Touch, 3 2, creature. There's okay, nothing sure. else. Yep. So, I love this card. Again, this is if you're going to be playing, you have lizards in your deck. It's steal uh -huh. their stuff. Great little combat trick. 4-2 trample yeah. body. Did you take the... Oh, you took the feather of flight. Is that right? I you did, took yes. The, that's fine. I, we need four. some way to push in our damage right now. Sure. Man, yeah. we're... We have... Yeah. Do we have Let's too do many kill spells? Do we... No. Do we... Take the kill spell. What are you talking about? Get out of here. I cannot believe this. This, this was our... No, this wasn't our first pack. Okay. It, it, it might have been. It, it could have been. It looks like... No, because it's, it's pick eight. It would be pick nine if... And it means we're getting one next one also. Okay, so I think we go rabbit. Yeah. Um, yep. We get to lose grower squad. And again, getting off early, okay. You know, our deck looks sick. I don't care what anybody says. Our deck looks great. <laughs> I think this is a very much a first draft, everybody. So you have a 1-3 that could gain us life, but it's so tiny. I think just yeah, no, take the bigger it. bird. Um, uh, there's the other and kill spell. we have another kill spell <laughs> do it well our do plan it. is to kill everything they have and then fly yeah. over the top for the victory exactly kill all their stuff and peck them to death so it's not the greatest orzov life gang deck you will see every oh and we end up tabling this anyway do so it. might as well take it yep okay and we we have, we have some building to do here though um i think our deck looks great we have like kill all their stuff and then like a couple creatures so what we have is untapped. I still have untapped. And so we could see what they suggest and kind of go from there. Oh, sure. They gave us a 1021, which on, if you get anything over a thousand, typically on their um, recommendations, usually yeah. it's a decent deck. Okay. That's cool. So they don't like your shapeshifter. <laughs> we don't need them in a two color deck. Um, they don't like our last pick bird. Um, let's see our, our curve and then we'll decide. Yeah. So let's remove those for now. And they don't like one swamp, two swamps. What did they want us to have? I think they just wanted us to have. Okay. So 16. they want us to have 16 lands. We're a pretty agree. low curve. So that's not the worst thing. Yeah. I do agree with the 16 lands, but let's take a look at the, can you lay it out? Like, uh, so we oh, can yeah, see sorry. that. Curve. Yeah, yeah. All right. So now. Yeah, I can see why they want to cut a five drop because it's um, like the mentor is better and it's just kind of uh, we've got more stuff to do on the ground. I'm actually fine with that. I mean, if we cut the, the other five drop, what's our um, creature count? We're at 12 creatures. Oh, okay, yeah. We have how many uh, kill spells have we got? Yeah, so that's the thing we're heavy on, right? We have four. Four? Oh, oh we don't we don't need that. this. I would rather yeah. cut this, put our yeah, get that creature back in there. Yeah, put our uh, where where did he go? I think he's a it's a white creature, right? Yeah, but it wouldn't let me go any like where try to go to the other view. That'll maybe fix it. Um that was odd. Did it put it back in automatically? Oh, Rena has been no. Rena has been very buggy. Let me just say done. Um, okay. And, and go Click back on like if you, if you sort by white, you might be able to fix it that way. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I think that is better. Um, I mean, let's let's look at our other cards. Even white, black. That's literally all we have left. Okay. And what so, about? Uh, and then it's just those those uh, those two threes or whatever okay so we have one combat trick 
Uh huh. We get something <laughs> to draw us a card and fly. Okay. And then and lots then of small up. creatures to make lots sure of, our curve. Lots of kill spells. And the kill spells, we have two, three, four, eight. Eight. Um, yeah, so I think with two pump and eight, man, I almost want to get like maybe one of the pumps out of the deck and then get another one of those like uh, artifact creatures in. Oh, really? Well, I mean, maybe that's crazy, but like, go look at the artifact creatures real quick. I mean, artifact creatures are just two ones. Oh, they don't they don't get bigger. Oh, they're they're only two. Ones. So yeah, they, okay. they, so they have shape shift. So if we happen to have um, something useful, it could be useful. We would have to have this creature on the battlefield, and it would become a three two. No, we're fine. I think I think we we're probably okay with what we've got as long as we have enough two drops. And I this think we to do, me we... is basically a kill spell. Okay, so we've got nine kill spells. Yeah, let's run it. This looks great. And I mean, this is some card draw for us as well. You pay two, you lose two life, and you draw a card. If you lose life and gain life on a turn, you get a bat out of it. So, I mean, we could have a game where we just absolutely pop off. And if uh -huh. not, we should definitely have an answer to be able to kill their things. Yeah, I think this deck looks amazing. Let's do it. I think we're in bronze, everybody, right? This is the first draft <laughs> for us. Uh, Hand of Justice hasn't even seen the card, so, you know, bear with it. Let's, let's yeah, take it out yeah. there and see always, what this does. Always the optimist, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it, it's hard to talk about some of the things I wanted to talk to you because, like, in my two drafts, I went against this decks that like i'm telling you were so absolutely insane they felt like standard decks i was going against but you don't know all the cards so um yeah <laughs> i uh, what do you think this hand looks amazing we've got mana okay <laughs> okay like we can kill like three different things yeah we're totally fine we're, we're keeping this 100 percent of the time all right, so my stance, we are going to keep it because we're hands adjusted. This is his draft. I'm just, I would mulligan this because I've found this is a fast format and I want to have my two drop. We are going oh, first, good. which is not the worst thing in the world, right? When they play their we two drop, we can kill it. So we have a lot of two drops too. And like we have so much removal that it's not even funny. Yeah. So like we wouldn't have to like normally if we had like a vanishing light, we might want to like hang on to it for something better. But in this deck, ah, no way. Okay, we get a three drop at least. I mean, we got this. We get. The, we got this game in the bag. It's already over. Like they're just like you know, just gift wrapping it for us. Okay, so that's one we don't want to kill. We would rather play our two one flyer. Love it. This format is absolutely covered though in combat tricks. If they swing okay. in, there's no way we're blocking. Right? We're not. We're not blocking okay. with open mana, especially in red and white. There are so many kill spells, so many combat tricks. Yeah, I see what you're saying. If they want to kill our 2-2 and use a combat trick, I'll take that all day. We don't even, we even care. I got you. Yeah. And our combat trick, so Banishing Light is a source, is that enchantment, right? And then... So this the is the instant, and then this is, yeah, enchantment. I got so, it. Okay. Um, I would want to use our Scry Land. We don't want yeah, any more sure. land, so if it lands on top, right, we get rid of it. Yep. Yep. Sounds good to me. So and then, what we could do is a bit of a blowout. We could attack in... If they block Wait, and use their combat trick, we could then just kill it. Let's do it. Yeah, because red-white is all about combat tricks, I imagine. Yeah, okay, so they have four damage, and they're going to gain three life because they have a bat. We could stop them from gaining three life by killing their creature. I just don't think you that's know, worth it. I don't think we care. We just let it happen. Yeah, if they want to use their combat trick for that, that's fine. They got no synergy as far as gaining life to grow any. Oh, they are three colors. Interesting. Okay. So what I feel, just based on the cards I've seen from them already, I feel like yeah. they might be a bit of a hodgepodge three uh -huh. colors. They just took cards in these colors. I don't yeah. know if they have synergy. And I just found in my gameplay, the synergy mm. was the most important thing. Yeah, it's all about synergy. We can play our five drop. Yeah, so got to play the five drop, most mana efficient play. Yep. Unfortunately, right, you don't get to put a counter on anything, but... Oh, there's got to be something else. Yeah. Okay, flash. Really so sweet card, but it's just a 3-3 three, three flyer for them. 
Okay, so it's not really doing much. Yeah, no. It, it's a combat trick to save one of your creatures. It's a flash oh. in to kill something from somebody else. I try and use a kill spell. You flash this in, you save your creature. Um, yeah. Yeah, but they played it just as a 3-3. Three, three. And again, early stages, I don't want to boast. I feel myself and hands of justice. We played this game long enough where we're probably better than the average person playing in bronze. This is one of those situations where this is a no way block to me. Yeah. We Would have we lots of kill spells and um, four mana open. There's a spell that gives plus two plus one to everything. Uh, yeah. That would still die, but it just, I, like I say we take the four. Okay. I was going to say like, would we ever want to block the one, two there? Not the three, three, but the one, two. There are the, still the pump spells that this could grow and still kill our creature. And not, and, and, and so would they be doing like a two for one on themselves or? No, they, their creature could still live. Oh geez, that's gross. Okay. Okay, so here's the question now. Oh, the mentor, we, what is the mentor? Do we want again? a gang life though. I'm thinking we play uh -huh. the bat. Yeah. Okay. We leave up our kill spell. We block yeah. this time, blow uh -huh. them out if they try their trick. I like it. Let's do it. Now, this, though, they could also, that could be their trick where they give everything a plus one, plus one. So. But then they, you're still time walking if they do that, which is fine. And like then we don't want to block with this, though. We don't want this to die because if we get an attack in with it, then we're going to start putting them in some um, situations. But we could still block and then nocturnal hunger and then not lose our guy, right? So, but if we were gonna double block, is what I'm saying. Oh, for double blocking, sure. Okay, so yeah, we. I suppose we could just sit. I guess. I mean, it depends on what their their spell is. It was just. I would hate to save this and then this dies. This is kind yeah, of the no, synergy totally. of our deck. This is just three four flyer. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, no, this this would this would be great. You know, have them walk into like the big pump and then like we. And we can even force it by now, like double blocking or two two if we wanted to. So, would you want to try and double block it? Um, I mean, like, what would you rather kill? Like, because like we've got the kill spell for sure. Do we want to just like double block the three three? Well, fly I wouldn't want to like... double block the three three if we're gonna kill it anyway. Because, so what's gonna happen I mean... though is let's say we we do our three four and we just block here. They're gonna use the ability and pump it yeah, up. Yeah, for sure. And what I was thinking is, you know, if they want to kill our 3-4 and we double block their 3-3 anyways, then they would still pump. We'd still get them to time lock themselves. See, if we do just this, though, it's going to force them to have to use their spell they want to use. Because if they just use this, this yeah. would die anyway. That's true. If you don't want to risk the Moonrise in any kind of So now you actually have to utilize cards in your hand, not just its ability. I'm open to that for sure. Okay, so that was the card exactly like I thought they were going to have. Yeah. And then we... Do we want to gift them a food or do we want to lose two life? Don't care. You don't care? Nope. We're going to be at 10. This would put us to 8 if we lose two life. Let's stay at 10. All right, let's gift them a food. We'll go ahead and kill this. Yeah, because I mean, if we can stay above ten, I mean, or you know, at ten or above, it feels pretty good. Okay. So and now, now we gotta get this going. Yeah. Now we'll get this. Do we swing in with both, or do we just want to gang the life and keep this back as a blocker as well? Um, I mean, they're twenty-five, so probably just a two-three, I think here, and just maybe take it a little slow. Yeah, because this is gonna make them lose three life unless they wanna. Yeah, I mean, we don't want to like risk the starseed mentor too much if they were at like a lower life title and yeah. we could just try to like blitz them out and maybe swing with both but we still have a vanishing open. light we could play next turn if they have something big yeah but right now we are owning the air okay they're tapped out so free for us to that's like a three four do for it doesn't really do anything right unfortunately all our guys are already flying <laughs> yeah, i mean right? we can give them a buff but so now we could just banishing light their three three and just like walk all over their face, right? Yeah, and just start coming in. That's sort of what I'm looking at. And then play like the the two mana guy for good measure. Yeah, because we could give him flying next turn, and then that's going to gain us life. Putting flying yeah. on him is fantastic. 
Because exactly. then we're gonna gang life every time and drain. Now we descend with the team, right? Yeah. Puts us back up to 12 life, which is decent. Hitting them for eight is a nice chunk. They still yeah, have that food to gain a little bit of life, but. But we're starting to really get the clock going now. Yes, because now, I mean, we're, are we gonna drain him from another three? Are you willing to, oh, we do. So we're at 10, so. And we're gonna be getting this in the air. So we're gonna be getting two life a turn. Love it. Unless they have a kill spell right here. Okay, reach, absolutely fine. It's only got two power. Yep. They could double block now. Okay. I mean, even if they do, do we care? What does Nettle Guard do? Is he just a So he's just a 3 1. Okay. So I guess what we could do is we could put the Feather of, of Flight. We could put that on our. I guess on the, the, um, the Assassin, make it a 2 4. Because then we can attack in with it and they won't be able to kill it. We can attack yeah. with that and the 3-5 and, and the 3-4. Yeah. Then they won't be able to kill anything, and then we can still push them like life trades. Yeah, because this will gain us the life, therefore triggering this, so that's definitely what we want. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's great. Because now we, we gain life, and so we're going to get to uh, surveil at the end of the turn. So we go here, here, and here. Oh, it's a 2-3. I thought it was a 2-4. So something changed there. Oh, no, it, does, it doesn't get the bump. So, oh, okay. Well, they could kill it, I suppose. So they yeah. could double block it, but then we get to kill this. You push so much damage, so maybe just swing all out. I would just swing with everything if we're going to lose Just go it. all out, yeah. Because they have to double oh, no, block I mean, if they want to kill. I was going to say the 2-3 also. But... Yeah, I, oh, I attacked with everybody. Oh, no, no I did forget. attack with him. Oh, oops. That's, my <laughs> That's okay. I don't think it's really going to super matter here, but... but uh, this, oh, this we can play amazing. this next turn and pump our squad. That seems like really good. Let's All right, so we'll keep, keep it on top. So yeah, we could have had him down to six here, but I think it's going to be... Actually, they went down to five because they would have drained for one life as well. So yeah, that was definitely my fault there. Yeah, whatever. I, I don't I think it's going to attack all, but... Yeah. But I, I don't see... Okay, they got an offspring, good card, but they're on the ground and we are all in the air. Yeah, our entire deck is in the air, essentially. And we're going to pump the squad... And just see you later. Bye. Yep. Nice. Oh, they didn't even let us charge in there. <laughs> hey, I told you, this deck is just nothing but money. I mean, okay. <laughs> so I will say this. in if, if you're getting up into Platinum, I don't think this deck is going to cut it. I, I think just too good of players and too good of decks you're going to see. I think in Bronze, early on, your first draft's going out there. A deck like this will work. From our opponent, what I definitely noticed, there is no synergy. This was, they took a bunch of cards and for the yeah. most part, like their curve is way off. I mean, look how many four drops they have out here. So I, I think we definitely got a game that we should have won probably even easier than we did just because their deck is a little bit all over the place. But we'll take a win where we get them. For sure. All right. One game back. But I mean, there's something to be said for all flyers and all kill spells. I mean, that's a pretty good combo. It is. I mean, in older formats, it was always kind of uh, Azorius, right? Blue-white flyers mm -hmm. I would always go with. I always love those and just like like mm -hmm. gum up the board and I just sit there with my couple flyers going over the top to finish them off. Yeah. You have like a couple like two fives that don't do anything and Oof. just get in the way. This would probably be um, a mulligan, right? I mean, we've got the so kill spell. you got a kill spell, you got a three drop. Suppose I mean they're going first round the draw. Yeah, I guess we could keep this. Like, we have what? Do we have nine sources of white, or is it eight? We have kind of nine. We have the hidden grotto and eight planes. I mean, so that's like a decent shot, right? That's like almost a one. I mean, so we still have something to do turn two and three, so it's not, yeah. of course we draw, of course we draw a swamp. And this, so in my two drafts I had done before this, oh my uh -huh. goodness gracious. Um, it's okay. I'm, where I, I win five and three with a deck I thought was insane. In one yeah. of them, I lost two games just because this. I got mm -hmm. one color and not the other. Yeah. Whenever you cast a um, non-creature or otter spell, you may exile the top card of your library until your turn, you may play that card. Boy, I wish we, we had a hard oh, kill spell for that. Oh, but we can't just kill it. Yeah, Yeah, we got bad. a minus two, minus two. Okay, we they need the grotto now. That's good. 
That's planes. Fantastic. Probably want that also. We'll take it. Well, we could play this. It's just a two one. We have no way of gaining life yet. Uh -huh. Is that I, better than just a worn elder? Or actually, maybe we just go for a suit there. I yeah, think it's play. this. So next turn we could double drop. Yeah, okay. I think that's, it's that's the tough. mana efficiency of it. Oh, actually, we can't. Oh no, we can't. We have no, we can't. Okay, so next turn because because we don't have double planes. Well, we could. So next turn we can go with our kill spell plus a, a two two. Yeah. All right. I think it's I'm going to say we wait on the Essence Chandler for a little bit. I would rather play out the bunny before the Essence Chandler until we have that yeah. way to actually gain life. Yeah, that's fair. Because when we use this kill spell, we'll get that food token. So I'd love that's to be able to play true. this and immediately crack that food. And we can set it up. Yeah, that's nice. Because at least with this, any counters we put on it, it's not like it's just dead. We get to spread those mm -hmm. counters out, spread that to a flyer. It becomes out of hand. Like our Soothsayer, for example. Yeah, so this to me is a no block. If you have the bluff, fine. We'll take the one. Yeah, I, I, I mean, like, how many pump spells are there in red and blue? Well, is it is all spells. I mean, that that is their deck. Okay. And you wouldn't be playing this whenever you cast a non-creature spell type of thing. So, yeah. Uh -huh. Absolutely fantastic card. Plus one, plus O, oh, trample, and you get to draw a card off of it. Yeah. Cheap, efficient. Seems really good. But I mean, still, in the end, we took two damage. Wait, what? How did we? Did uh, they take... failed to do the plus one plus zero somehow. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was like, we haven't gained any life. Okay, and a draw spell. Yeah, we're fine. Whatever. We get. Yeah, we got I mean, rabbits. We'll get in for two. You know, we got rabbits for weeks. Those Warren elders are gonna get it done. Believe it or not. I mean, that's like seriously representing like some major threat on the table just by itself. Yeah, I mean, being able to grow our flyers is the biggest thing. Uh, is if yeah. we were able to get a few of them down. Mm hmm So this next turn, we could double drop both white spells. Yeah. We also have the option if they play something that's only two toughness, killing it on our turn. And I think instead of playing this, I would rather leave up the mana to grow. Sure. If they, because if they just have a kill spell and we don't get any counters, that's a real feels bad. No, I hear you. I I, I hear that. Really, I think top deck best card for us is either our one two bat that gains us life whenever a creature enters, or our uh -huh. two three bat whenever it attacks. That's kind of yeah. that would be ideal. We could play the bunny and that. Kind of curious, like what they've got in their hand. Like, yeah, they I mean, like, they're in the tank. They got five mana. They're not missing land drops. They're in good shape. Oh, they're just passing. Okay, so they're holding up like counter spells. So this is like warning signs should be going off in your head. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dangerous and disturbing. Yeah, I assume it's a counter spell. I mean, are there a lot of counter spells in this format? There's a couple. Um, there's a. How much Essence. Are they like mana? Essence There's scatter? one that uh, counters unless you pay two. If you have okay. a bird in the field, it's four. Okay. Um, so we can try to play around that. And then the other one is it. It's two blue and it counters target creature spell. Okay. So um, let's let's shove in with what we've got without doing anything. You want to attack you know. with this? Yes, I think we should, we can attack with that because we can threaten the nonsense and they might not block and who knows. And if they block, so what, you know? Okay. Okay. Obviously, like, we don't need to pump if they decide to block it, but we, we you know, we could if we feel yeah, the need. Yeah, I think, so obviously this is a situation where you let damage resolve. Oh, totally, yeah. And then, like, end of our turn, we kill it or something. Yeah, I, I know you know. I'm just saying that for some people who might watch, what you do, people, they declare blockers and you get so excited and you fire this out and then they pump their creature up, you know? Yeah. So it's like, you definitely, you want to have this damage resolve. Yep. We don't want them to pump until after combat if they were to, because then our creature still lives. Yep. So now we fire it out. We can do it later. We can even do it later if we wanted to, or we, we want, can do it now. Do we want to play the creature first? Um. And then kill it? I think we want to kill this creature. Let's kill it first because they could have counterspell. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Yeah, let's 
start with Saber, just to see if they've got like the, the two mana player on the two mana counter spell. They could also have a shore up as well. Yeah, and I suppose the other the other option we could have considered is just like not killing it at all. But getting the le the um the life thing out is pretty cool. Now so, we can go for the dagger fang duo and just see if they full stop counter it. Okay. Now, are you in the camp of you always mill yourself or only if you have synergy? Uh, I would assume that we would mill ourselves so we don't help them. Oh, no, you 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 have to either mill yourself or you don't. You can't oh, mill gotcha. your opponent. Um, I mean, do we get any kind of benefit? If we don't get a benefit, then so to me, it? mathematically, the benefit is these are two random cards off the top. Yeah. We now have more information about what's in our deck if they're in our graveyard. Okay, do it. So yeah. that's why I usually mill. Uh, okay. A lot of people hate doing it because they're like, oh, my best card I just milled, right? We milled two kill spells. Yeah, but we have eight in our deck. Yes. Um, to me, though, that's more information of what we're going to draw now. Now it's, yeah. you know, one out of 26 instead of one out of 28. So Here's a question. Is there a fairly common version of like a board wipe in this format or not really? So white has the board wipe. There is a red spell that does two damage to all creatures. Okay. So... Was it like an uncommon or like a rare? Yeah, that one's an uncommon. The white one is rare, five mana wrath. Okay, so we could have potentially gotten blown out there for if they had like the two mana board. Wipe. Yeah, if they did. <laughs> very, very true. So that that's, I mean, I'm okay with the three creatures on the board. We still have two in hand. Um, yeah. If they did another turn of doing nothing, yeah, I would have held back. It looks like they just have a lot of removal. Just a lot of kill spells, yeah. Right, because this could, this could be a feels bad. Do we run everybody out? Do we hold back? Because we could run both out and still save this to put a counter on this. I think we run out the channeler, but not the other elder, just so we have the ability to crack and gain life in response. Okay. Would you agree? Yeah. Well, I mean, you could run both out and still gain life, but... Oh, okay, yeah, because there's only two to crack. You know, yeah, that's fair. Actually, then in that case, they'll have to run them both out. Go and swing in, see what they're gonna do. Yeah. Obviously, you would. Okay. What does this thing do? Yeah, it taps both of our creatures. Okay. Um, no, no, whatever. Five five though is gonna be a little bit of a pain for us to deal with at the moment. Yeah. I mean, we're we're at nineteen. They're at sixteen. I see no reason not to just crack this now. Oh, because it's yeah, because we have. Uh, they don't they're have tapped mana. out. You don't want to crack yeah. it in response to kill our creature, and then we don't get the counter. No, I agree. Let's crack it, and let's put it on one of the two tubes. Well, you have to put it on the Chandler. Oh, you do? It's not yeah, it's not until the Chandler dies that you could then spread out its counters. I got you. Okay. That's fair. But yeah, now we're wishing we had a... Now let's find those kill spells again. Because we are empty-handed, and they still have five cards, so... They do, but we're also winning, like, the swing race, and, like, we're pretty close to getting the ability to double pump. Yeah, that is true. So I feel like they still have to be like kind of careful here. Yeah, I mean, if they play a nice creature, I feel like they would swing, swing in for five. Yeah. But they can't be dropping any two twos because they know our creatures could all become three threes. Yeah. But yeah, they're, I mean, you could definitely, I mean, they have a few wins, right? They're higher bronze than we are. But I definitely think this is a player who hasn't done a, a bunch of drafts yet either. Maybe doesn't know all the cards. Oh my goodness. Okay. What is that? Oh god, another five five? Okay, that's good. Yeah, so this is a little crazy. Oh Jesus. Is that like a bomb rare? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, so much for that. Alright. That that's yeah. I don't know if we could handle three five fives. I don't know if we can either. Oh my god. Well, that's our synergy, but we need okay. a creature to yeah, hit this field. Yeah, land here, so in case we draw another yeah. land, we have straight up eight. Um, we're never attacking here. <laughs> Yuck. Uh, yeah, I just don't see a way out. Probably not, but let's let's give it the good old, you know, top deck Aruni. <laughs> I guess, because, like, if we top deck a land and they, like, attack badly or like don't do it who knows if, if they me. attack no but the thing is if they swing all in right now mm -hmm. if we don't throw any chumps out there then we're at two yeah. 
And then I know. double pumps doesn't help us anyway. Double pump, let's see, four, eight, 13, six. No, we could actually exactly kill them if they had nothing and they swung in with everything and we just went to and two. And they play no creature or have any and tricks. And they no creatures and we, yeah. So, okay, so that's what they're doing. Of course they are. Um, so maybe here we like pair off like an elder and the channeler perhaps, or possibly like the life. Let's first tree. bump up. Yeah, okay. So we could go like double elder on one of them. Um, or if we don't want to lose the elders, we could go like elder plus. Cause like when the channeler dies, that thing goes somewhere else, right? So obviously they probably have a combat trick here as well. For sure. So we could like triple block one of the five fives. Yeah, because your other option is right. You double block, double block. We lose two like creatures, they lose the two creatures. Here, I think our best plan, honestly, is to quad block a 5-5. Five five. And I'm not kidding. Because they have seven mana, and they probably have two pump spells or two you know, pieces of nonsense. Okay. Because they kill the channeler, we at least get the counter spread out. Yeah. Only one counter, yeah. unfortunate. We finally have our little pair cooking and we don't really get yeah. to have it. Oh, okay. So we only lose one. Who do you want the counter on? Um, Who do you want it on? Probably the duo because the duo is like, because they're, they're probably going to try to kill this in response. So we want it on like our least important creature, which is probably the flyer. So if we, it actually, I think a land now is the thing we want almost. I mean, right. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Their it's deck is ridiculous. Yeah. What did we just draw? So this is great, but we have no way of gaining life. So we He's could dead. use this and I think we would have to pay two life to draw a card. Uh-huh. So we go to five. I mean, what do we get out of it? We draw a card, and if we have a creature we could play, we could then gain a life, and then we'll get a bat at the end of it. I think we have to because we're in such a bad position. We just have to, like, do something. I think so, too. <laughs> like, we're, we're so... Okay, I mean, land is at least good for... Oh, jeez. Yeah, but we, we are, we're toast here. This has prowess. This is a ridiculous card. This has prowess. And yeah, we've got I think, two five fives. I think it really comes down to the three five fives. That was, you know, sort of a beating. I mean, they, we, we just really did not draw of it that great. We were yeah. too slow to start. Yeah. And again, that's what I was talking about. Th this is a format where if you're not getting off early, we couldn't yeah. put any pressure on them. It's just... Right. Yeah, so maybe it is kind of a fast format. I mean, those the 5-5 five five wasn't like a super early drop, though, was it? No, I mean, they, they just... I mean, again, we just didn't do enough to them before they were able to drop that. And mm -hmm. then for them to drop that and follow it up with their absolute bomb, I mean, yeah. we could have handled one five five. Three five fives was not so much. Yeah. So if we pump, can we survive this attack? I assume they have. Obviously, we have to double. We have to block both five fives, or we die. Yeah. And I was elder and then the duo and the other one. Oops. Yeah. No, no, I, I never mind. I, I would do two elders on the same five five, so because that's the, the best card to keep around, I would think, with all of our mana. It is not going to matter, I suppose. But why well, just think if that has any pump, then these are uh, yeah okay. I think it's super irrelevant. I but, think you know. they they have a pump spell, and these are going to kill us right here. That's going to be two, and that's going. Oh no! Ow! What do you have with those three cards then? I mean, we're dead no matter what. Every single thing kills us, so. Yeah. Vanishing light, a little late. A little too late. Well, I go out this way. Sorry, <laughs> there we go. All right, well, that, that's an example of, I don't necessarily think our deck is terrible. We drew poorly. I mean, they drew a lot of lands as well, to be fair, but they also got to draw more cards than us. Yeah. But we were too slow. We didn't see our two drops. We didn't see our kill spells. So, all right, one and one. I mean, their uh, deck definitely had the ability to go like way over the top of us. And that's something that like this deck, you know, because we are just like 
trying to one for one with our removal and mm -hmm. little group periods. And so if they go over the top, that's going to happen. All right, this, right, we don't have black yet, but we have good two drops in white. I would keep this every time. Yeah, and yeah. we're going first. Question is, what do you run out as your first two drop? Is it our life ganger or is it our lord? Oh, okay, Probably easy decision now. It is this. Okay. Because we can oh, then yeah. play this immediately after. Love it. Let's and go start for it. that growing. So, and then yeah. after that, Ooh. then we play our Lord growing both of them. Oh, that's just gross. Ooh, okay. So that's a question now. Two blue mana Did open. Counter spell mana. Do we I just, just do it? it? Yeah. Force them to have it? Let's see. They've, I'm sure they've got it, but. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that that card that we would have ended the game basically right then and there. Okay, so maybe so we should have. I don't know. I don't think we go Lord here because okay. of the counter. I think we just put out a three one. Sure. Or the two two, whatever one you find to be least valuable. I, I think we, I'd rather do three one than two two here. Okay. So let's swing in first. Force them to use another counter spell. They could just have a basic bounce spell here, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that double blue just looks so fishy. Okay, they do have another one. Oh. I mean, if we get a land, we're going to be able to double drop. Oh, yeah, Fable Passage back in our format. Oh, okay. See, yeah, what they're their second color. Okay, so they are... Okay. So, clear sailings. We just need a land. Oh. All right, so I say Lord makes our bat yeah. a little bigger. And just pump, push in the air, try to start winning the fight. Yeah, the I mean, they got a 4-2, right? That's going to get us down. Man, we need that black mana. This is another example of... Uh... Wow, they take the... Okay. Wait, what, they what have happened a flyer now? now. We are getting land screwed. <laughs> yep. Yep. Gotta ditch you. We need to land. Yep. We need a black source. Pretty badly. I mean, like, again, if they didn't counter this, this would be game over unless they had the kill spell in hand as well. Yeah, that's that's fair. I mean, chances are, though, they have a four damage to something. They have some... Mm -hmm. really, this, this comes down to, if we get a black mana, I mean, we're killing everything. Yep. Do you do want to try and trade or do you just let this through? Um, I think we let it through with the hopes that we draw land because we can represent a lot of damage on the backswing. Maybe yeah. that's greedy. Assuming six mana, though, they have a, a trick here. Probably. And this is one of those shame games where it's like, if we had our mana on curve, we would be totally fine. Right. Okay. So now we can just force the attack through. I would. And then... I would. Um... I think we just push. I don't think we. I mean, we don't care about that two one. Well, they're gonna um, hit us back for seven. Well, if they uh, use well, a combat kill... trick, we would have to use our kill spell on this two one. I was gonna say we use our kill spell on their four two or their three three on their turn. Yes, but if they use a combat trick, would we be willing to have one of our things die? Yeah, I'm fine. We're at fifteen. We're totally our lord. Fine. I mean, if they try to play games, we can kill their 2-1, and then we take a little bit less, a little bit more damage next turn, but we're still fine with it. Okay, so they want to... If we if we Nocturnal Hunger their 2-1, then that's pretty funny, right? Well, this is going to kill... Uh, oh, it does 2 damage to target creature? Yeah. Okay. We just kill their 2-1 in response. Yeah. We're, we're going to gift some them a food because we can't afford to lose more life. Right. Yeah, that's fine. Now we are let's see get... if they have another one. Yeah. I guess we get a little bit low here. Okay. Bounce spell that bounces their creature and our creature. Yeah, fine. So that was I mean, a we're... two for one, but we are taking seven. We really need to hit a land <laughs> so we could go kill spell and creature. 
Yeah, I feel like this is one of those games where we stabilize at like three, but like, it's okay. Yeah, that's prowess. They pay four, they get back one of their instants or sorceries. Oh geez, that's gross. Yeah. Another, they take the bounce over the kill. That is surprising to me. Okay. Okay. I think we gotta kill that four too. Okay. It just represents too much damage. We gain the life. Yep. And we can't play this because we don't have a secondary black. Right. So we just wait. We can we can forge. Forge means getting rid of three cards in your graveyard. Okay. Yeah, I, I can buy that. Do we gift them the food again? I think we we could like like, you know, we're we're. If they have extra food, it's sort of annoying, but I think that it's better than us dying. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, we should have killed it already because now they could bounce things. Shoot. Well, I guess now we just do it in response to them bouncing. Yeah. I wanted to kill their 3-3 three, three flyer, though, no? Yeah, I was going to say, because now they can protect their flyer. Holy and you geez. can't really do anything about it. Doesn't take a genius yeah, no, I mean, this is another deck where they, they have the rares. Yep. Yeah, see, yeah, now that... I thought we were going to actually be okay because we were in bronze, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's looking oh, rough. There's that card right there. The two damage to everything. Okay. Yeah, we got to wait for their trick, which is unfortunate, but... Yeah. It is what it is. So the, does their 2-2 have prowess? That has prowess. They're okay, going to so use gonna, the bounce spell. They're going to use the bounce spell. What okay. I think we do here... Uh-huh. We block here if we take that trade that's fine okay they're probably gonna bounce it though so they could save it in response then we could also kill their bird i like that do we want to double block their two two uh i don't want the lord to die okay then i think we leave it like this and see what they do see if they're willing to just make this trade i'd be a little I surprised because like i think they want to replay this yeah i feel like they think that i mean they, they know that we've got something also though the yeah thing. that's the thing if, if they if they use this now that was a huge mistake on their part because they know we know they have this and this is one of those situations and so now I think now we just killed our 3 3, right? The flyer? Yeah. And forage or whatever. Or we just give them the. Um, give them the food. Food. Like, give, them, give them the food's fine. It's also more mana efficient to give them the food, right? Well, this would only cost Ooh. us two mana. Oh, yeah, I guess mana efficiency. Yeah. We don't have another black, so it might not matter, but. Oh, sure. Uh, I have a plan. All right, we're gonna have to kill that. Oh, the Ralph. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, okay. There's the black. That's great. So now we can play our quest caller again. Unfortunately, that and has three toughness now. That's okay. We play the quest caller and we still have pump mana. So we should have enough to, to get through. So now we just double send at Ral. And well, then, then, we and then just have him chump block. Well, if they chump block, we can still pump all of our guys and still kill Ral. Yeah. All right. I mean, wouldn't you agree? Because we got to get that thing off the board 100%. And now we just pump. I mean, we could use this to kill that too, but... Um... Why don't we just pump, though? Yeah. Good old on-the-board tricks. This is an unexpected outcome. So what kind of more nonsense can they do with that that uh, blue card in play? Uh, you get it to le the next level, and then whenever you play an instant or sorcery, you get one of these. And their deck is just popping off. Yeah. 
Menace is bad for us. Whenever you yeah, expend man. four, you may discard your hand if you do draw two cards. Jeez. I think we gotta kill, kill that thing like this turn. Yeah, the thing's <laughs> gotta, gotta die. Um, let's play the land, because we're getting real close now to double pump mana. So, let's see. I think um, bat. Sure. And I think we just have to kill this now. Yeah, I think so too. I don't. I don't think waiting. I mean, you would love. Um... Ooh. Do we want to keep that? That's pretty good. Does that help us though? Well, it. I mean, it could save one of our creatures because we could gift them a food. Their creature dies. Our creature lives. Yeah. It seems useful it's decent obviously a straight kill spell or a creature is more beneficial to us but it's probably better than a land and actually no it's not better than a land off the top i would actually just bottom it for that reason all right and then we're just gonna straight up kill this now oh uh, we not we can do combat first do we oh, want to attack oh we do not we're at seven yeah well, what if they have a uh, shore up? What if they protect us? They swing okay. in, they kill us. Okay, yeah, all right, fine. I mean, we get attacked for two. I, I'm just, I'm always thinking about being aggressive. You, you know me. Yeah, but my only thing is, okay, they block here. They, I, we can't attack with the two, three. Right, so, no, I, I agree with just pecking in for two in the air, and then we can still kill that thing. Okay. I suppose we, we could kill it first if you're super scared. No, it's better to um, attack first. You're right, in case they do something. I mean, there is a pause. The pause, though, could just be from the food. Yeah. That's too dangerous. Yeah, no, I agree that we want to get rid of that thing 100%. If they have a shore up... No, okay. I mean, like, there's just a lot of things that could go wrong. <laughs> Let's be real. So, we get our surveil. It is a land. We want to keep the land, I think. Because, okay. like, double pump is, like, for real damage. So now is the... Oh, okay. See if what they pump this. Oh, come on, pump this. Play this. If they're tapped out, that's good for us. Yeah. What does the Tempest Angler do? So once it... When they pay that, the next time they play an instance or sorcery, they'll get a 1-1 one, one red otter creature token with prowess. So they'll oh, get God. one of these every single time they play an instance or sorcery. And what about that 2-2 two, two they just played? Every time they have an instance or sorcery, it gets a plus one, plus one counter on it. Okay. So now we slam the land, and then if we, if we, um, we're obviously, we can't full shove, but if, if we maybe attack, can we attack with three creatures? Is that crazy? I think three is crazy. I think... Maybe just two. Two in the air. And then we don't pump, I think. Let's see, or maybe we pump once. Well, if no. we want to be able to block this and have nothing die, we need a double pump. Okay. Because we can make that a 5-5, five, five, which could block there. This would be a 4-5. Yeah, I, yeah. so we just attack for 5 and nothing else. Only problem is, if we block here, double pump, and we block one of these, and this dies, okay. this will die as well. Here's the thing. There, there are a lot of problems. But, you yeah. know, um, here's the thing. If we, if we attack with those two and we pump once, we're pushing 7. We got them on a one-turn clock. Um, then they obviously full shove back at us. If we can somehow survive that and like. We would have to block though, and we would lose creatures. Otherwise, we just attack for three alone. I think maybe we just attack just for three with the star. Yeah, and leave our two, three back. That feels like it's the best attack. Then we don't pump at all, and we just finesse a little bit of damage. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely a hard spot there. I. Wow. I know. I'm, I'm like a little bit too aggressive. <laughs> and so oh, I've always got to Not a land. It's all right. So now, if we double shove in the air for five and no pump. No, that's so crazy. Let's. I just hit for another three. And then play the land. Well, I guess we can. I, I would just hold on to it. We're yeah. not going to get to 12. No, that's, that's true. Well, we hope we don't get to 12. I mean, I don't think we'll live to get to yeah, 12. Yeah, yeah, that'd be pretty awkward. I agree. I agree. 
agree. Yeah, but so now we're threatening. Oh my god. Them. Oh Jesus, what's this thing? Yeah, we're we're done. I think now. Okay, tell me what it does. So you now may cast an instant or sorcery card with mana four or less from your graveyard oh, without okay. paying its mana's cost. You get the prowess stop. triggers. Then you also get another one one otter. You know, it's not over yet. I'm not willing to give up just yet. I don't know what they have in here. Probably the bounce spell. Oh, they're going to do the, the two damage to everything? That seems a little silly. Yeah, I don't know why they do that. I'm they just gonna... pump in response, right? Like, we just double pump in response. Just to be super safe. <clears throat> oh, they decided not even to do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my lose... goodness. <laughs> nice. <laughs> they, had yeah. to, they had to have been flooded on that one. I will say, I don't know if we should have got that victory, everybody. Well, whatever. We, we, we intimidated them out of the game. There we wow. Because they would have lost. Showed us a little uh, mercy. They would have lost two of their guys, possibly three. We would have kept well, we would have lost ours too if they would have just played that and done two damage to everything. Yeah, but we could pump. It, we already did pump. I'm saying two damage to everything and then they attack us. We have to block. Oh, yeah, then, sure, sure. Yeah. All right, two and one. And again, I'm there happy if we get four wins because you only lose 100 gems, but you get packs. But really the goal always should be five wins or more anytime you do one of these. I think we can, do, we can do seven ones off this thing. It's this deck's a monster. Are, I mean, are you kidding me with these lands, though? This is a mulligan. Because is it, though? I actually disagree with you, again. Oh. And I think it's crazy. We just need one. Oh, you're probably right. But, like, we have the kill spell on two. Oh, no, we don't. No. Oh, never we mind. Have, we two. have two three drops that are black. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's, that's And we are two two. Yeah. I mean, we yeah. are on the draw, to your point. No. No. It's a mulligan. Okay, that's a much better hand. This we could keep. This is our synergy. Yep. I say the five. big five drop, we get rid of that. Yep, sounds good. Yeah, I thought for a second that one of those uh, black spells was a two mana spell and not a three mana. Yeah, because now we have a kill spell that gives us the food for life, gang. I mean, we are we are light, and we got our three now drop now, too. Yeah, we now are, we're happy. This looks a lot better. I do not love seeing black red. That's like the kill everything colors. So we start with the, the one, two, right? I think so. It, it is our synergy engine, but I think we just well, have to. It's like, gonna, yeah, it's gonna die. I mean, whatever we play, they're gonna kill, we have to assume. So now again, I say we wait on this for a while. Yeah, it's fine. Ugh, we have to discard. Um, What's our weakest card? Um, It might be it the Death Toucher. I think it might be the Death Toucher. Like, well, I guess actually, no, it's, mm, yeah. I think we just lose our, our three, two, honestly. It's not right? mana efficient for next turn, but this turn we play a two drop. The next turn, hopefully we double drop. I mean, man. I guess we, we could lose the, I mean, the two, two has nice, like long game play. Otherwise we lose the channeler if we think it's that. Cause this next problem. turn, I think we kill their creature regardless though, right? Yeah. So yeah, lose the, the, the dagger thing, that's fine, whatever. Okay, we got the land, so we will be able to double drop. So we don't want anything to save them. There are, right. especially in black red, there's a, a pump spell for lizards. It gives plus two, okay. plus O, oh, and indestructible and lifelink. Oh my goodness. This is okay, we, we just lose the land now, right? We don't lose okay. the elder. I know that you want to have like live the dream, but like land has to be worse. Oh, okay, we have the dream anyway. <laughs> okay, good. Maybe there's an argument. No, there isn't. Never mind. We had no creature on the board, so you double play. I said maybe there's an argument of playing only the channeler and leaving up the. Okay, so yeah. they're full on lizards. Lizards are a great deck. Okay. Tell me more. Oh, yeah. Gone right away. So, in standard, okay. lizards is going to be a thing. In draft, it, it's, it's one of your better so decks. Is there a reason that we didn't single drop our guys and then like leave the mana up to gain the life from the food? Because, so the, if, if we had played this and we left up the mana mm -hmm. to um, gain life, it gets a uh -huh. counter, but there was nowhere to put its counters to. Oh, sure. We had no other okay, creature. Then... 
So it would be better. Yeah. Yeah. I see what you're saying. So okay. now do you swing in to get in for three? Is that thing a death toucher or no? No, just a one three. It'd be totally push. Okay. Absolutely push. I agree with the push because they know we have no hand. I don't know why yeah. they didn't attack with that. It makes no sense. Well, I mean, we just blocked their 1-3 because the 2-2 two -two has uh, mana. Oh, I understand. But when this attacks, they gain a life and we lose a life. Sure. So sure. their creature would not die and they would still ping us. Yeah. Now, do we crack the food now? Um, do we have other things that benefit off life gain in our deck? Only a only the thing that's the three five flyer but i think i think actually yeah, i think we do gain the life because we may not yeah. be able to use the mana more effectively I agree. and this way we have our mana up for our pump if we have to we don't have to play that yet though yeah. we can play that later this turn um what does our four three do is it just a four it's three? just a four three he could give it menace yuck okay so we're racing like 100 percent racing um, are we okay trading our Warren Elder for that thing? Do we want to trade? Well, I don't know I if we, we could, we could, if they attack us back, mm -hmm. that's eight damage. If we attack them, we potentially could be hitting them for seven. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, but we have terrible blocks with them coming I back at us. I think we just double. I think we just we just send both. I think we send both as well, and we just pump. And we just pump regardless of whatever they do. And then play the land and just hope to like draw something. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a rough game. No yeah. Ones. And now they got a death touch or two. Oh, gross. See, this is this is the type of deck I'm talking about. Yeah. Super. Standard. You know, easy drops. You okay? That was a good hit for us. Yeah. Okay. Now is when again you, we would have liked to gang of the life, but we get a scry, get a kill well, spell. Great one. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, so here's the question: Is do we swing in at all here? Like, do we want to trade for their two two? I don't know that we do. Yeah, I, I think we'd I, rather take two points of damage if they attack here. us with it. Oh, wait, wait, what else does that adept thing do? It can tap to do something? Till end of turn, you may cast a creature spell from your graveyard by forging. Forging oh. would be sacrificing the food or removing three cards from their graveyard. Gross, okay. The best um, thing to do right now is they get this back, but we have no cards to discard. I think um, we just, I think we sit and here's why. Because we let our four six do all the work and just set up for double blocks well they do have yeah one of our creatures will die with that but i think that's okay we, we, we keep our three five alive or four six or whatever it's going to be and try to like ride that to victory so i feel like that's how we win this game because now we give them like somewhat awkward attacks like, yeah, they can yeah. get us with the Cinder Fang Cutthroat. Um, but, like, they can't really do it with the Warlock. I will say, like, I think our last game that we won and this game, us hanging in right now, is kind yeah. of because I feel like our opponents are not playing the best as far as utilizing their attacks when they're ahead. For sure. down when they need to. For sure. Like, putting the pressure on us. Yeah. That's, that's fair. See, they're just passing the turn here. And now we just sit on our 4-6 and ride that to victory. I now we have the kill spell when we need it. Right. Right, and they missed the attack of ganging life and draining us one early. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now we just sit back, wait for them to do their thing, live the life. And we can, like, two-turn clock them. Yeah. And if they try to get fancy with their cindering cutthroat, we can just nocturnal hunger it. Okay, so they're doing the big push. Question is, are they gonna make that 4-3 menace? They already didn't. We 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 could Did they? I didn't see them spend the mana. Yeah. We can so... block it with a 4-6. 
That has us taking six. Uh, I think our two three definitely blocks something, right? I mean, oh no, can't. can't menace, menace, and death touch. Menace, menace. Do we care if our two three dies? Like, what if we trade it? For if the two three dies, these both like, shrink. Yeah, we have That's lethal true. on the crack back. If we have lethal on the crack back. Uh, if that lives, yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, three damage is like super likely though, right? Like red black can can easily give like plus three plus three, right? Yeah, I suppose that's true. Um, what if you instead of blocking the one three, you used the two three and the three three to block a two two? All right, say that again. Okay, so you still block the four three with the four six, and your other two creatures block a two two with menace. And that's five. And, it's and five. we have the kill spell if we need to, if they do a pump. Yeah. That, that seems better to me. Okay. Is that crazy? Do we want to kill spell before damage? Or do we want to sit? I think we sit. Okay, force, let's force sit. their hand. We have lethal on the crack back if we need it. Yeah, yeah, all right. I'm, I'm good at waiting. Like, the only consideration would be if they had, like, four damage, like, to face. Okay, they're dead then. That works for me. I mean, I'm, I'm decidedly okay with that. Uh, we can't gift them the food, though, right? Yeah, we just go to two and call it a day. Like, there's no, like, two damage to face, is there? Or <laughs> maybe there is. Oh, whatever. We'll just get in. Yeah, are we so again, this is a game I do not think we should have won. I don't think they took their advantage when they could have. Yeah. There's so many attacks where we did not have great blockers and they should have been able to take that one. If they played like you play with your aggressive style, we were losing that game. <laughs> Fair enough. But again, th this is the thing of you being in bronze and you could get some lucky things like that, so. Yeah. I mean, again, we, we, in my opinion, we have an underpowered deck for the format. And we've had two games that we won that I think we should have lost. <laughs> but it's your positive mindset you have that yeah, this deck is it, unbeatable. Right? Yeah. Just... yeah, they're just going to, you know, quake and tear over there or Oh my goodness, I'm telling you, our uh, drawing ability is not fantastic. I think this hand is a keeper and here's why. I think our two three with a feather of flight never loses. Okay. And it draws a card. Now if they I'm, counter it or kill it, we're-, we're I mean, again, we need double black to actually play this. Oh, we do? Oh, well, that's interesting. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> Whatever, we're, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, you know, play our two three and win. It's gonna, it's gonna be great. Yeah, because basically this is a murder unless you could forage. Got it. Okay, so it's a slightly... Yeah. That makes sense. No, oh, he said howdy. Hello. Okay. 2-2 two, two first striker. We have to draw the card, so there's just no question about this. Yeah, we're just winning right now, right? All right, we'll be able to play the flyer next turn. Um, He's first. We're never blocking that. Let's be honest. Yeah, there. I mean, that's just gonna get in, right? Yeah, we push. We totally push. So, I mean, granted, this is essentially like doing one damage to them, but we're not gonna block because it's just a terrible we're trade for ever, us. Ever, ever, ever blocking a first striker for any reason. All we need is a black now. That could kill it. Yep. Is there any reason to main phase that? Out of curiosity. Uh, I. We just need black. Yeah, I suppose. Okay. I mean, like, I don't think it's super bad. They're mana they're screwed right now. They're missed for land drop, so... Hey, what did I tell you about playing the 2-3 and the, the flyer? And, like, yeah, never I feel bad for them. I mean, we are set up if we get black. To a degree, we're mana screwed as well, but... Yeah. See? Just just live the dream. 3-3, three, three, but now let's attack first, though. Yeah. Let's keep it simple. Oh, my yeah, goodness. Our deck our deck is amazing. Like our deck just never loses. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> uh, we we've had some terrible, terrible. Wow, they're three yeah, colors yeah. too. Like oh, we man. cannot find the lands we need. Like <laughs> nope. And it doesn't matter. 
Okay, that's that's good. That's pretty good. This is ridiculous. We're still winning. Um, I think we just shoved everything. Like if they trade a four two for a one three, who really cares? Who really cares? I mean, they're they're forced to block here. You can't not. Right. If we had any trick. Yeah, they would be so done if we had any trick. But you know, we're better than that. We just <laughs> just play our quest caller and call it a day. Wow! 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 <laughs> Get in! Get it done! Oh my god! <laughs> so they're gonna oh, go to wow. four. If they have a kill spell, they're touching our creatures. I don't like that. All right, we win. Yeah, see, never losing. I mean, they just have no kill spells in their deck. Yep. What, nice, what I tell you? Rares, but I mean, look at this. I mean, what I tell you? Never game, losing. I guess. Oh, and another. <laughs> this is absolutely. Uh, we have a hand of nothing but kill spells, and we cannot get a swamp. Yep. Like. Yep. Yep. Just, just play a 2-3, give it flying, and Well, I'll lose. tell you, I had a fantastic deck on my drafts that I went 5-3 on, and mm -hmm. these were the situations that were happening to me, but I was not yeah. winning those games. <laughs> <laughs> and my deck would destroy our deck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, hey. This deck this deck is a 7-1 deck. You just don't know it yet. Th this is bronze living, I'll tell you. <laughs> this is a 7-1 deck the whole way. Wow. And we're gonna do every game like this. We're gonna be mana screwed every game. Or we're I cannot wait to read your comments. I'm gonna go sign in to somebody else and leave in your comments. So it's like these guys are rigging these games, man. Oh yeah, it's the streaming. Yeah. I guess maybe I feel like I haven't played too much since I did my last video, and I don't feel like I've been as lucky. I feel like there is something to when I start recording myself and going on camera. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. This hand is a a little different because we don't have our two three. We don't have a single creature. I feel like this is still a keeper, as crazy as that sounds. Because, like, we have Banishing Light on three, and we have Feather of Flight, which never loses by itself, so... But it needs to go on a creature. Yeah, we, we just gotta find the a creature. Cycle, which needs double black to play. But they're going first, so we have an extra draw, so I think we, we, this is probably a keeper. Okay, you talked about me earlier. I don't like to spend my money. You do <laughs> not like to mulligan. <laughs> I really... Yeah, I like talking my way into keeping every hand, if I can possibly... But All like right. this hand is amazing now because we've got a two drop and so we're never losing. Ugh. Folks, I strongly <laughs> advise that this was a mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay, what does that thing do? I, I, I would trade. Yeah, we could trade. However, we have a feather of flight. So. I would trade though and then banishing light this. Fair. Clear Fair. their board, give us yeah. time. Yeah, because we've got stuff to do. I, I see it. Yeah. If on our turn we we feather flight, all we have no, is no, a no. three two. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I admit you're right. Yeah, I we see. just throw that instead, and then it works. So now we can we can just play the two three. You'd rather two three? A hundred times. I think it's just a three three. That's all it does. Okay. We're getting aggressive. It's whenever this or another rabbit they control enters, the creature gets plus one plus zero. Oh. Yeah, it's not that important. Now we're attacking and gaining life. Yeah, we're winning this race like a, by a lot. Well, that's got yeah, that thing was a little scary. Yeah, Can I we think we uh, now that? have to get rid of that. Yeah. But yeah, we're we're pacing the three three no no problem. So I think we're in a good place. Yeah, right now we're currently in an even race, which means we're winning. Because we've got the Feather of Flight, which is, you know, that's what's going to make it happen. I would still, and also, I would drop a creature before the Feather of Flight, personally. Oh, yeah, 100%. I, just I mean, mean, there just, is an argument to be made, though. You play Feather of Flight, you get a land, and then we get to play both. I was mostly being facetious, but for the main reason that we, since we have it in our hand, we're going to win. That's how this game works. <laughs> So let's say we don't draw a line. Is your play play the bat? 
Probably play the bat. Or is it play Feather of Flight hoping on that land? Well, it that depends on if they have mana up. All right, well, now there's now no just, choice. Now we just draw land and then play Feather of Flight. We would like a swamp, please. Thank you. There we go. So do we go here and here? Um, What if we do duo plus Feather of Flight? Is that a bad idea? Duo Feather of Flight, draw your card? Yeah. Do we get to activate uh, the Lunar Convocation if we play it this turn? No, because we have to lose life as well. Yeah, okay, so let's do uh, the, the duo plus the Feather Flight and call it a day. They've got the removal, it's awkward, but I think we go for it. I think they have removal, there was a stick there. Was there? Yeah. They just used removal last turn, though. Yeah, but, yeah, but that had three toughness. They could have a thing that does two damage. They could also have bump. That's true. I mean, we, we can play it safe and, and do the convocation. I think that, like, we got to be a little, little. All right, so you say just go for it. Yeah, we go for it. It's going to be amazing. All right, it sticks. <laughs> Call me crazy. We got a death that... toucher. A swamp would be absolutely amazing to be able to double drop here. That would be cool. Yeah, because we got to get racing here. Do we just drop our Death Toucher? Do we drop our Flyer? We get to Surveil at the end. Do um, we like just kill it right off the bat? I think we can probably drop a Flyer if it helps us Surveil. So this will give us a Surveil <laughs> ability. Or, or this, this is just a no. blocker that's going to kill theirs. Now, will the Surveil happen this turn if we play it? It'll happen on our end step. Yeah, let's do it. That's more, that seems more important than the other things because we're right. still at twelve. Um, we can do that after combat, though. Well, you want? I want to do it before. Oh, I guess oh, you're sure. right. No. Well, so my quick thinking was these are two mm -hmm. things they kind of want to kill. We do it before. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, I hear you. Yeah, I think just we want the surveil okay. more since we're at thirteen. Like we're doing okay. I would ditch um, this personally. Yeah, let's go for more land and more stuff to do. Ideally, hopefully a swamp. Right, because right now we are racing. Oh, what in the world? What is that? Yeah, it's a really, really crazy good rare. Um, protection from red, thing, protection from blue. You're going to do two damage and draw a card. You want to block that? Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, two damage to any target? Too. Oh my goodness. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I did not read that. Thing, you want to block that card. But I was like, that. oh, just keep our creatures and we're going to kill it next turn. Nope. Oh god, this is going to hurt. All right, that's 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 my bad right there. That's, that's, that's all right. That was, yeah, that was one card I did know that we make sure you do want to block. Oh, you've got the Nettle Guard to take care of the Sword of Fire and Ice. That's really good. Okay. But do, I think we just kill this creature first. Yeah, let's do that first. We could always, we could always. That's mm. It seems way too dangerous to play around and sort of fire nice because they're drawing cards every time they hit you. Yeah. Like I, I would respect it and just kill the creature. I'm gonna give him the food. We can't lose any more life. That's fine. All right, might as well swing in. I doubt they have a haster, or do we leave it back in case they have a haster? No, you just push in and like hope work, hope things work out. If they have a haste, it's super awkward, but I think that like we're we're already down enough that we kind of have to have them not have one. Yeah. So the only downside yeah, is, I mean, I so I guess what we would have had is we would have had this creature. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Yeah, that's why the metal guard is really good. Because we can use that to destroy their sword of fire and ice. Yeah. Which we're definitely going to do next turn. Yeah, and you should leave that back to block, and then you can block, and then after block. So what we could also do is we could just kill that creature, and mm -hmm. yeah. I wouldn't kill that creature, honestly. I would just blow up the sword and, and after blockers, but you can still attack in the Well, we could too. kill a creature, and we could blow up the sword. Oh, sure. But wouldn't you want to kill the 3-2 because it's a better creature? Yes, yes. Yeah. So do we push? Um... We're at eight. 
I feel like we don't push right now because okay. we want our two two back to block the one one. Yeah, I don't remember that card at all. It's not yeah, a standard card, play. That card is a ridiculous, ridiculous bomb rare. Yeah, limited. I mean, that card is good and constructed. Like, it's <laughs> limited. It's absolutely. Well, in standard, it's far too slow. It never. It used to be played. It was good in, like, old standard. Yeah, I mean. Holy moly. When this enters, exile target creature and opponent controls until it leaves the battlefield. If that creature is power two or less. All right, so we're gonna let this happen. Yeah. That's now the thing we kill. Right, I agree. At least we get to blow out their 1-1 one -one, though, that's kind of nice. Yeah. yeah. Then... Okay, now we, now we use our 3-1 to block their 3-2. Yeah. And then, and then before Go damage, here. kill the uh, sword. And only take one damage now. Yep. We can live with that. Here we go. Now we got the Lunar Convocation flying around. Okay. Now again, do you want to mill our cards or no mill? Um, how many how many cards do we have left? Twenty two. This might be a long game. That's the only reason I would say maybe not. No. Okay. So no mill. I mean, that's my only my only thought on yeah. that. Yeah. Decline. We get this down. Painful. I can just. I, I think we're at work. seven. I don't think we attack. Oh, well, you want to just trade? Yeah, trading's fine. Because my thing is... Yeah, I know. I see your thing. It, like, I would like to be able to draw some cards, but losing two life is really rough on us. Yeah, I hear you. I mean, we have to block, no? Yep. I think we... we, um, do we now, here's the question. Do we want to prioritize Arch Flyer or the 3-2 Death Toucher? I kind of think we want to hang on to the Death Toucher more. Because the flyer doesn't do anything special. Okay, what I'm two. thinking though is they have the spell that does plus two plus one to all creatures. Oh, okay. Then that's the nice. I see what you're saying. And I want yeah. that dead. Yeah, let's do it that way then. Okay. I'm picking up. This is also going to give somebody a plus one plus one if they have another spell, which they do. Right. So yeah, this would have lived. This is going to. Oh, that is trample. That's super gross. All right. Well, I mean, that's a card. It's a card. Now, I don't think we we can't we can't draw though. We can't go to three. If we go to three and draw a threat and then play it, yeah, it just it's not enough. But I you could do. do... Like, you could do this on here... their end step. Yeah, we don't do it now. Because we hope to just trade with their three two. If they give us that option. It's a pretty good card, because when this dies, it does damage to us. Oh, yeah, that's gross. All right, uh, so, so we yeah, draw first under... to see if we find an answer. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Right, we could find a kill spell. No, no answer. All right, so now okay. we have to block here. There's no choice. We take two now. And now their heart fire hero is super dangerous. And we're just yeah. dead. And that's it. Oh, well. Oh, well. But just like our last loss, I will not give him satisfaction. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, was one, that one, we were flooded. I mean, we were. Yeah. We, we didn't okay. have the worst hand. Again, I would have definitely mulliganed that one, but we didn't get run over that one. I felt better mm -hmm. in that game than I did the last game where we actually won. <laughs> oh, really? Well, that last one against the lizards. I'm sorry. They they should have steamrolled us with that one. Yeah, they had a couple missed attacks. Okay, now this is a keeper. Oh yeah, this hand looks great. Not fantastic, but we're going first. We have at least three lands. This hand is a hundred percent better than like. But every we other finally, hand for the first time, have both colors. <laughs> yep. 
Okay, Fatal Passage. We know the earliest they could have is a two drop. We could always kill it if we wanted, or we just get down our bow and we get our two drop. Nice. Jackpot. So the Chroman get it gives them a food, but our guy gets plus two, plus two, and indestructible. Uh, so Is we can get one? plus two, plus two, but if we want to give them a food, we get plus two, plus two, and indestructible. Yeah. Okay. Um, we could let's swing in and fake it. We could. Yeah, one hundred percent. Let's push. Mana efficiency, I, or we go with our one three lizard, leaving up our put creatures down. I think we actually go for the flyer at the start. The I agree. I just yeah, given yeah. the options. Yeah, because like I mean, removal is so much better. I'm not going to use the combat trick to kill this thing. Right, uh, removal is so much better if if we have a board presence. Yeah. So now we're hoping to draw some more land. Sooner we could get to this, the better right now. If we just get this flying threat in the air, plus getting a fourth land threatens us pumping our creatures. Mm -hmm. I think we do block here because if we use removal, we just don't care. Okay. Like force him to have it. Yeah, because you know they're not going to, they can't do that and drop any other creature. Exactly. Again, I, I think that's a strong attack on their part no matter what. Well, yeah, Ooh, like they always nice. do care, but like we don't have to give them yeah. the free damage. Yeah. So this is nice because we're going to do the same thing. We want our surveil. So they have the same little combo we're going to have. Yep. Nice. So easy push. Yep. I say we just pump the squad. Yeah. Just eat their creature. Seems great to me. Like, why, old, why waste the combat trick? Yeah, good old on the board tricks. People never see him. Yeah, he even said, oops, didn't re recognize the. Yep. All right, so now we're tied up. We have two creatures on board. Okay, we have to discard. Uh, probably just the. Hmm, hmm. I was thinking the five drop, but now maybe not. Um, I think actually we maybe just. What do we want to lose here? Probably the the assassin doesn't seem as good, or maybe the assassin is good. No, he gets actually choose. Oh, he gets to choose. Oh, so the, what this card does is, if you've dealt damage to your opponent, it's a thought seize. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. All right. Um, we swing in again and do the same thing. And shove and see what he does. Now we play this and we leave up our combat trick. Yeah. Seems so yeah, good. this card is really good if you're able to get some damage in. Yeah. And if they have a kill spell, we could even make this indestructible if we needed to. Mm -hmm. So do we save this? Absolutely. Okay. And the reason why is because we can pump our entire team next turn. Like that threat is so ridiculous. So now they're going to get it. They should attack with both. Wait, why didn't yeah. they get a food? I didn't do indestructible. Oh, that gives a food. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now we just we can just pump and push. Wow, you're you're a pump and push over. Um, I wouldn't attack with the elder. I'd attack with. The they fire. get double so, blocking. Um, oh, okay. Then why pump? Why I mean. not drop something? Yeah, no, we're definitely dropping. I just, I just, you know, I just, I say things before the the thoughts go through. Um. Yeah, let's let's attack with the two flyers and then play the two cards uh, double drop. We can't double drop. We don't have double black. Oh right. So we could drop the uh, assassin, the assassin or the. Yeah. So do we get if we play the convocation? Do we get the benefit? We this don't turn get the back because we have no way of losing life yet. Got it. Okay, so let's play the assassin then. Yeah. Okay. Just puts more on the battlefield to pump up next turn. 100%, yeah. Let's build it up. And now we get our surveil. We get our land. We keep that because we want to play our 3-4. Yep. Yeah. We get to put a counter on a creature that you control uh, without flying. 
Yeah. I mean, it seems like unless they've got some big, like, turn, you know. Yeah, unless they have the Wrath. Yeah, we seem to be at a pretty good advantage. Because yeah, we can just lean on them with our Born Elder next turn. Okay, that's a 1-3 Death Toucher. That's, that's good response. Uh-huh. I don't think we care, though. Like... I think we well, just... It, I mean, now we don't really want to attack with this because they could just easily trade there. Um, I think what we do is we... I think we attack with these two and we pump them to kill their bat. Yeah, I would say that. Yeah, otherwise we just shove with the team and just pump. Yeah, actually, uh, well, if we shove with the team... They block there with the one... Yeah, no, the... I guess I agree with you. Let's just shove with the team. No, I like a full send, actually. I think a full send is fine, because like, we lose some stuff, but like they're super pressured, and they're going to be like taking the extra life lost here from their the assassin. Because they're going to only I mean, be able to kill one of our creatures. Right. Well, they could kill two, I suppose. Like, if they double block... And oh, then... double block, yeah. But then we are pushing six, and then we're also threatening... Uh, actually, I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't have... Full send it here. No, this is no. They, that's terrible blockers on their point. Yeah, this is bad blockers for them for sure. But oh yeah. Well, if they had blocked correctly, assuming no tricks in hand. Oh nice, they did have it. That was okay. the spell I was talking about. So life gang plus two plus O oh, indestructible. That's really, that's really good. Yeah. yeah. So they're back up to nine. Get rid of that. We got rid of this, which is the most important thing. I don't know why they, did, they didn't they did save their yeah. Death Toucher. Yep. They have nothing in the air now, and we still have a flying threat. Was that discard? We want the flyer over this. For sure, yeah. Can't imagine them attacking, but... Well, I think they're going to kill something. They're touching both. If I was going to kill something, I killed my flyer personally, but, you know. What is that level two? Dude? So level two, at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if the player has one or fewer cards, they okay. lose two it life. So we're going to be losing life. two. But we're at 20. Yeah, we got, we got some time. I'm really hoping they actually attack with their assassin. They also have three life to gain here. Okay, they just go with that one. I guess they're gonna try to drain us out. I mean, it's a long, long haul for them though. Like we're taking two on our upkeep. They can gain some more life, but we're still pushing. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, but now we just use our Provisioner to make our guys a 2-4 and push. Yeah, we're only going to get in for one point of damage and gain one life, but... That's fine. Worth it. What is this next level? At the beginning of your draw step, draw an additional card for each opponent who has one or fewer cards. And a Banishing Light. Wow. And they're just hitting all the... Yeah, they're hitting Ooh. all their removal. So if I'm them, I attack with two again. Oh, they go... Well, they don't have a block there, though. That's interesting. So... I think we get Creature down here. Actually, we have mana for both. Never mind. Um, I think we attack first, though. Yeah. We see if they yeah, have their trick they... again, and then we blow it out. Yeah, we have to blow it out. Yeah. yeah. Do we lose the two life? I think we lose the two. Instead of letting them gang three off the food. Yeah, I think so. They are going to be drawing extra cards, which sucks, but I think we just have to roll. roll because they it. already get, like, so they already have six life they could gang here. So, I mean. Yeah, it's pretty gross. Yeah. Yeah, they're leveling that up. Banishing Light is actually kind of a scary card. 
Like, yeah, no this lie. is now getting scary. Yeah. Swing in. Do we, do we want to start holding cards? Yeah, I like obviously, I'm going to hold the land. Yeah. Definitely pumping, though. Yeah. Now they're drawing extra cards because we don't have uh, them. So oh, we're going to drop to nine. Oh, don't tell me you got another kill spell. Okay. We keep that in hand. Yeah. We swing all in. Push and try to hold. They have to block. Well, no, they go to six. All right, let's see what they got. That pump was a little dangerous. It was, but I think it's super necessary. Yeah, we end turn so they don't draw their extra cards. And now there's All still right, we got it. That'll work. Ooh, <laughs> wow. Another ugly game. Like, man. If no, this yeah. were my first draft, I would think totally different of this format. The two drafts I did, I was killer's row. I mean, mm. I feel like I'm playing in, in the like minor leagues. With these right. Ones. <laughs> All right, we got the five wins. I mean, I'm always happy there, right? Always Don't our goal. Away. We paid 1,500 gems. Yeah. Right, we get a hundred gems back plus four packs plus all the cards we drafted. That's always a win-win situation. So, to I, me, it's I, always I, just a free roll for now. And I mean, seven. we've had what two hours of fun getting to hang out and talk cards well, and <laughs> say what you like. This is a seven-two deck. All right, your thoughts. This we have amazing. three two drops, every, every, four two drops. Yeah, this we're keeping this every day of the week. Okay. So good. What is your preferred two drop? Three one. Yep. Just in case I can't answer it. I can't believe we haven't got to pop off with our life gang creature yet. I mean. Oh yeah. Ooh, and they had a mulligan. Don't want that no. actually. Maybe this is the card we should have just cut. <laughs> Oh, that is a ridiculous rare. What does it do? At the beginning of oh combat on your turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature oh. you control. Put that away. All right. We can get rid of it with our Nettle Guard, though, so play the 3-1. Yeah. That is almost... I almost don't want to play this until we had three mana now. Oh, sure. With yeah. how good that is. If they see this, if I'm them, I kill this now. Oh, we need to land. I mean, we have to, like, so we, we have to kill that thing right now, right? Yeah. Because it's, is it we can't even you block it and then in response kill it because then it would no. get another counter. You just got to get it now, I think. Yeah. Like, I guess I'm, you can feign the attack. attack. Yeah, feign the attack. I suppose you could have played the quest caller and push four. That's the other option, but I think it's. Well, yeah, they could have blocked then and then. No, I know. still lives. Yeah. You just get it now. Yeah, we have oh, to. Man. We would never be able to race with that thing. No. As is, this is going to be rough. Hard to imagine in Selesnia, they're not going to have a token. There's just so many good tokens in that color. This thing yeah. could be a 5-4 trampler in a second. Yep, and there it is. We need a land so we can kill this thing. Yep. Yeah, we're already on the back foot. Oh, yeah. What does the Bravekin do? What is what? Ah, uh, that card they just played. Oh, you can give a creature plus one, plus one. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so All we right, just, kill, we just kill this now. Yeah, just right now. We gift them the food. We can't afford more yep. li life loss. Yep. Trying to think, though, if there are... Yeah, there's like a plus three, plus three indestructible... So there are some things that could protect themselves. Oh god, they've got that thing. Yeah. Well, that's good for combat trick. I think we get this out to start gaining life. Yeah, actually, I could 
see. Because yeah, the next yeah. turn we could play this, which will okay. Lizard yeah. Assassin. Yeah, I like the one three for the life gain. Yeah, because they'll want to block it, and then we could blow them out with it. Yep. Good blocker against these guys. They're probably gonna pump this to make it a two three. Oh yeah, and just like push for four, that seems yeah. pretty good. I mean, it does take mana though, so. Okay. What does the carrot cake do? So exactly? they get three life, they get another one one, and you get to scry one. Okay. So this essentially, in the long run, makes you two one ones. That seems pretty good. And that's the whole idea of their, like, you know, these colors I was saying is they go wide. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, four in the air is pretty nasty. That's a good one. That can block it, though. Uh, it, it can't, though. Why not? Because they're going to give it, they're going to make it a two power double strike. So oh, ours dies, theirs lives. Right. Yeah, you're right. But we can we can block after a turn, after we have enough mana for Crumb yeah. to get it. But we play this. Yep. Yeah. Because then we can grow it with our um, Lord. Yep. And still have our combat trick. Oh my. What does Balin do? Something. Tap two and tap tokens you control, add one mana. Tap three tokens you control, draw a card. Tap four oh, okay. and you put three counters. And they have, okay, three, so they have three tokens oh. at the moment. So they could draw a card. So they could draw a card and pump this thing up. That's gross. Yeah. So we're going to go to six right now. Seems like a rough place to be. But next turn we can try to stabilize. Although that, that Balin is super rough. Yeah. They're, they're going to draw a card off of this on our end step. Yep. And another game of mana issues, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I could see, like, cutting the 5 drop and just running 17. Yeah, it almost seemed like that would have been better in this case. So, it's got to be the Lord. Yeah, the Lord plus hold up crumb. Yeah. Can't attack. Really? You don't want to attack with this? <laughs> Into the, I suppose we could, yeah, because if they block, we still kill it. Yeah, I suppose that works. But if they block with the bird, do we want to use our combat trick to kill the bird? Probably. Oh, you think so? Over... I mean, we're probably not going to get a chance to kill the, the Balin with the Crumb and get it. Well, if they ever attack with a thing, we do. Well, they might, might... I mean, like, I feel like we're happy trading Crumb and get it for their 1-3 nonsense also. Okay. Mm, oh, they could tap. That's why. Uh-huh. Now they know that we've got nonsense, but you know, whatever. Yeah, they know because we, we, when we had one man yeah. available and they were attacking, there was a stick before. So they already know mm -hmm. we have stuff. All right. Now you would love to play a creature, but we have to hold this up. Otherwise, they're going to yeah. double strike us again. For sure. So they draw their card. Oh my gosh, they did not draw their card. They didn't know that. The, oh God, that's so funny. Wow. Maybe they don't realize the food's a token, or I don't know. I think they don't realize the food's a token. That must be it. Oh, that card's so good. So it comes into play. You offspring it. Put his counters. Okay. Oh, Jesus. And now he knows he has three tokens. Oh, my God. And that thing's a 3-5? Oh, yeah, we can still kill it, though. Yeah, I'm just still saying it's a beating. It's just... Actually, we can't, because if they pump it to make it a 4-6, we cannot kill it. Oh, I forgot. That's plus one, plus one. And we have to use Crumb and get it so we don't die. Yeah. Unfortunately. So we got to give it indestructible. Got to give it indestructible. Yeah, there's, I mean, we need a, dr a kill spell. There's nothing else. Oh, if they do that, though, we have the, the option. 
So we could sacrifice our 3-4 to their 4-6 and then use the Kremen get in our 2-3 and kill their Balin, which I like. Yeah. I think that's the play. No, actually, that's not the play. You don't think so? Tell me why. They're, they're about to give this thing three counters. Three counters? They can do that? Yeah, four. if you tap four tokens. Uh... One, two, three, four. It's going to be uh, three counters and trample. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, there, there, there's no way out here any... Oh my gosh, they draw the card. Wow. Okay. Uh, like, we have a chance. That's not a kill spell. <laughs> well... Well, it would have been nice to even have this come down. Yeah. I think we have to double drop. For sure. We need the Can land. Yep. No attacks. Because that could be four damage. Mm -hmm. There's also an so argument to be made to just drop the three four before the three five, but. Yeah. Well, that's a bird. No, well, we. Uh, the yeah. problem with if we drop the three four, I guess it doesn't really matter since they Oh, one that's of them so wouldn't... good. Whenever you attack, oh, geez. that's so that's good. Crazy. Now their token is just going to start picking off our creatures one at a time. Wow. This deck looks pretty good. Man, we had a chance of coming back in this if they did not have that. Mm hmm. Because they we would just be taking four and we were going to be able to stop that. But now they're going to start just decimating our board. Yeah, that Shrike Force seems like a really good card in that deck. Yeah. I mean, if you have any pumps, any any actual enchantments you could put on this thing, it, I mean, yeah. that's just a nightmare. And the fact it has Vigilance too. I know, like even without like- Oh wow, that's um, gonna be six damage. Yeah. So this is gonna die. Uh-huh. Bird, bird, bird. They're, they're both gonna die. And they can just like shove well, all- Well, they can just shove time. everything. We're, we're just gonna die next turn. They may not know that, but yes. So I actually think playing this is smarter. Okay, let's do it. The re reason for it is it's going to have four power because of this. Oh, sure. And so th and like either one of them would die. So I'd rather this die than this dies. No, I agree. I see what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, again, it's not going to matter if they swing all. Right. Like they should, but... Um, we could gain one life, but that wouldn't change things because it would have to attack. Right. I think we just make a 3-3 three, three into a 4-4. Four, four. That seems like, because then it could block their 3-2 profitably. Yeah. Or blo or make like our 2-3 into a 3-4 well, or whatever. there's a kill spell. Yeah. If we live a turn. Yeah, if we live <laughs> a turn, I think it's worth it. But again, okay. do the math. They haven't been doing the math all game, so, you know... Yeah, you, I mean, you always play to your outs. Like, if they can, like, you know, do basic uh, math. So there's the hop we're, to it, like I was saying. Yeah, they got it. GG's. We're, they we're super. It. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, we got to our five wins. So, hey. We did get bad. to the five wins, yeah. I mean, I we went against a few decks that were definitely better than us, had more rares. We had a yep. lot of land and mana screwed situations, so... Oh yeah. Honestly, with that draft, I think that was a very poor draft on our part as far as we just weren't getting the cards. We had a hard find in the lane. We didn't decide on Orzov until pack three. It was, yeah. I mean, I, I will, said, I will take that one all day, every day. I think that that deck like was, it was okay. It was like maybe like a five or six out of 10, but you know, I mean, it had like the kill spells were a little funky, but like they got it done, you know? We didn't have a lot of like bomb rares or great inter interactions. We had just a lot of like decent creatures. Yeah. So this is one of the lizard things that's just nutty. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, like lizards is a really fun, aggressive deck to play. Comes together mm -hmm. pretty well in draft. Um, 
Frogs, so in my, we didn't actually get to go against a frog deck. That might be a higher level deck to go against, but mm -hmm. if you start drafting some more, a frog deck in the higher levels is a nightmare to handle. It is so hard. We didn't run into it at all. Uh, we yep. didn't really run into too many decks that I saw super synergy again. That's a sign of bronze and kind of where you're at. Start playing in some platinum, things like that, and you'll see better gameplay, better deck building as well. But for sure, for yeah. Sure. And again, I'm fine with that for a first draft. The cards Let's that came to us, we, you know, we we made it work. A deck like that, deck. you honestly, you hope to go three and three. Can we jump into the deck one more time? I just want to look at it. Oh, I just time. I I claimed the prize, so I don't think we can. I'll have to go oh, to. It might be that might be it. Yeah, that's okay. But. But yeah. You know, I uh, I had fun. I mean, that yeah, was, no, that was fun. I mean, I absolutely love drafting. I plan on drafting for the next couple of weeks, like probably once a day because I'm not doing recording anymore. That's how I build my set. I in my main account, this is my secondary account. Um, my main account, though, I have 250 rare wild cards. I have 150 mythic wild cards. And again, I don't plan on spending any of them because I'm going to draft and just Get every card. I love set. how your your secondary account has two hundred and sixty thousand gold <laughs> in but your I, secondary. But I only have one hundred twenty six rares in this one. <laughs> so. Well, at any rate, it was a pleasure Ace to draft with you. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, no, um, thank, thank you so you much for having me on. <laughs> yeah, thank everybody for watching. I appreciate you guys, and um, yeah, so it's just it's a lot of fun. So just it's great to share this with you guys. Appreciate you. Till next time, everybody. You're an Ace. Thank you.